Hey everyone, so this is a Core XY 3D printer that I designed myself. I'm calling it uh, the Simple Cube. Basically, it's a Hypercube, Hypercube Evolution um, kind of redo. Uh, the goal of this printer basically is to be ultra, ultra simple. One big thing about this printer is these are 400 millimeter extrusions. The entire printer uses the same size of extrusions. So a lot of times Core XY printers, you'll see they have different lengths of extrusions for different sides or the bed will have really tiny extrusions, something like that. Um, I basically, I wanted to build a printer that you could just go to your extrusion supplier, type in 400 millimeters, 500 millimeters times 12, click order. Uh, you don't need to cut any custom sizes. You'll notice here I designed... Uh, fully 3D printed ends here, so I get the maximum 400 millimeters. They don't uh, join together, there's no tapping, there's no drilling, nothing like that. I'm using um, Hypercube Evolution uh, motor mounts. The, the brackets here, um, mainly because I already had these smooth rods. I'm going to be redesigning these for linear rails. And then uh, the brackets here are Hypercube Evolution as well. Um, I designed the whole Z myself, again, keeping this thing ultra simple. There are no bed leveling screws whatsoever. Uh, it's basically a piece of glass, uh, tempered glass I had from an old uh, 3D printer. Um, I'm 3D printing some brackets. This has a uh, old ham coupler. Basically, the Z is able to actually move in here. You can see that every which way. So there's no Z-wobble transferred to my bed. I just have the connections here. Um, again, ultra simple. This just runs on some rollers for the actual spool mount. I'm just using a BMG clone here. Um, it's Bowden right now. Uh, I'm going to be designing version 2 here shortly, which will have all the belts will be actually up on the top here. Um, I'm going to be designing much more robust um, corners for the tops and the bottoms. This was kind of just an early prototype. Um, does this work? Um, will this print well? This structure is not even that rigid at all. I'm using super cheap belts from Amazon. Um, just kind of linear bearings I had lying around. Um, I had these uh, extru um, linear rods from a Delta printer. Uh, like just kind of parts I had lying around. Uh, this printer of course runs Clipper on an SKR Mini 2.0. Again, super cheap. There's no LCD. Uh, Clipper handles the, all the auto leveling. Uh, I did splurge a bit and I bought a Dragonfly, a Fetus Dragonfly. Um, these are just cheap stepper motors I had from a Aurora, JG Aurora 3D printer. I'm using some of the JG Aurora brackets just because it's what I had. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, please comment below. Here's kind of a preview of print quality on this printer. Very, very, very nice print quality. Um, some of the best I've actually ever had um, on a Core XY, especially a DIY one. Um, this is five-year-old PLA that I had lying around. Uh, very, very nice quality. Um, like I say, this printer is not rigid at all as far as its frame, uh, this version one here. Uh, I'm printing relatively slow, uh, kind of just a first iteration. I'm gonna be beefing up these corners quite a bit. They'll have uh, basically four actual screw mounts here, a four millimeter top corner here on each end, um, and all the belts are gonna be moved up to the top. I'm gonna go to a 10 millimeter wide GT2 belt instead of the kind of standard six millimeter that most printers use. I want this to print very quickly. A lot of acceleration, print very fast, so version 2 is going to have that. But yeah, if you have any questions, uh, want to see the printer working, anything like that, please uh, comment below. Thanks, guys.